comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> So I was pretty hesitant on actually making this reaction in the first place, and the main reason is, is I don't know if I'm going to see this movie. I'm very certain it'll be R-rated, but I'm seeing it too, and I already fricked the blinds. I saw John Wick Chapter 3 earlier this year. I loved it, one of the best movies of the year, and I'm going to see it Chapter 2 this weekend. Sorry, I haven't gotten to it yet. It keeps getting delayed because my dad's busy, but I'll finally see it, hopefully this weekend. Hopefully, I'm not guaranteeing it, but... I don't see many R-rated films. I will see a lot more in the fall season, hopefully, and including Knives Out. So I think I'll see Knives Out. I really hope I do. I will try my best to get to the theater and see this movie. Because I can probably watch more than 50% of the R-rated films out there. I just haven't seen a lot of them because I have to get my dad to watch them. And he's a busy person. So, I'm going to react to this trailer. I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't know if I'll even review the movie. But just saying, if I don't end up reviewing the movie, that's because I didn't get to see it. But I hopefully will review the movie because from the first trailer and from all the reviews at TIFF, this is my one of my this is probably my third or fourth most anticipated of the year. Twenty One Bridges also looks cool, but oh boy, I can't wait for this movie. But let's watch this trailer finally. This trailer is totally gonna make me really wish I was at TIFF. I want to go to TIFF. I probably won't go for a while, but it's in Toronto and it's during school, so. I, I can't go to... Let's react to this trailer. How about that? Sorry, the camera angle did change a bit. But let's watch this trailer. Finally. Okay, ready? And go. I think you have something you want to tell me. Harlan started out with a rusty Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time. 30 languages, over 80 million copies sold. You guys fans? I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but... fan. I'm a big fan. Who is that guy? Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. <laughs> You're famous. Nice. The night nice of demise, the family had gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. <laughs> and your son, Ransom, did he attend as well? Yes, but he left early. I think Linda was upset. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? Are you baiting me, detective? Attempting to be thorough so we can figure out the manner of death. You mean if someone killed him? Dialogue. You think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt. killed him? Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. I have eliminated no suspects. <laughs> Nice mention of the Harlan was cleaning house. Everyone in the family has possible motives. Was Harlan planning on cutting off Joni? Did he plan to fire Walter? Is Richard having an affair? That's some heavy-duty conjecture. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Up your ass. Very nice, oh, Ransom. 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 You gotta do this more right. often. The family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the knives come out. This is a twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. I keep waiting for the big reveal. All of them lied to me. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my god. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. That was a weird thing to put after the trailer. Oh my god. So what I've really realized about this is um acting and dialogue is what I really got out of this trailer. I thought like the first show is hilarious. Thought I was going to laugh a lot during this trailer. I didn't really laugh a lot. I, I chuckled a couple times, clearly. But my favorite part about that trailer, like, all the dialogue is so well written. All of the, like, the fast pace. There's so much to that trailer that just makes this easily one of my most anticipated movies of the rest of the year. 
And it shows the direction Ryan Johnson kind of took The Last Jedi. Because The Last Jedi, like and everybody knows, didn't get the most well-received reception from fans. I just like the direction it went. Just like full-on comedy. And obviously he's, he's going to reference Last Jedi. I think somebody at TIFF said that he does reference it. And I'm happy about that because that's funny. Like... Any other direction a director would go is they'd be like, oh, I'm going to try and change it. But this is kind of like more like, I, I'm, I'm still going to have fun with directing. This is way different than Looper or The Last Jedi, clearly. And I just, the acting is all good. The dialogue all looks sharp. Hope I'll see it. And sharp, no pun intended there. This is easily one of my most anticipated movies of the rest of the year. I can't wait. It looks funny, hilarious. I'm really excited for this. I hope I'll see it. I'm, I'm still not guaranteeing a review, but there's a good chance you'll get a review. And yeah, this looks freaking great. Um, and I thought I might have to put a warning at the beginning of the video saying, uh, that I ha might have to, like, I, might, I thought I might have to, at the beginning of the review, say, like, um, oh, there might be some R-rated content in here. They didn't show any R-rated content in there, so, which is weird, so I almost feel like it won't be R. I'm very confident it will be, but I almost feel like it won't because they might just be like, um, like, if you look at all the content in the trailer, nothing is pointing to the R rating. Now, granted, you could say the same about John Wick 3. There is none of the blood and the violence in John Wick 3 trailer. They obviously edited it all out. And if you watch the movie, the most violent film probably I've ever seen, maybe Logan. But I can't wait for this. This will hopefully be the most entertaining film of the rest of the year, maybe of the entire year. And high praise at the beginning of it when it said the most entertaining film of the year. This trailer just showed me a lot of comedy and a lot of good stuff like that. I, don't, I still like the first trailer a bit more. I love that they used the remix of I'm Gonna Live Till I Die by Frank Sinatra. I liked that there was a remix there. This didn't exactly have a remix, so I don't think this will be necessarily a trailer. I'll go back and watch a million times. But heck, I enjoyed this trailer. And it's, I thought this trailer would be on trending. I didn't end up going to trending to find it. But yeah, it doesn't look like a lot of people um, have really given this trailer that much attention. But I enjoyed the trailer, so A, you know, what's the matter with that? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it. It's actually, like, now it's playing. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. And bye. I don't know what the next video will be. Probably a review of Ad Astra or It 2. So bye.